more locations rolling these out, still full retail. And I forgot the Michigan Dunks here as well, which is dope to see. One of the shoes that we came back for, as somebody requested, was the LeBron 21 Gray School All-Star. Curious to see what the men's sizes look like. If this is gonna be the same or is it gonna be different for men's in grade school. Somebody did ask me to come back and scoop these up. So if I get the response while I'm here, we definitely will be adding these to collection. But I did pick up two of those, which I'll show you guys a little later in the video. Somebody did request these two. Might end up scooping these up, just waiting for the response on these. Definitely clean here. We talked about these plenty of times. Had to shop by Stu Fallis one more time to see what else was here while I did scoop up those two shoes. Got some new colorways of Ultra Boost. White, black with the red. Got the red outsole on these, still full retail. Most clean too, got the gray with the blue. This colorway of the Air Max 90 is not bad either. White, black with that uh, blue. 130 on the retail for these. Let me know if you got a fill those or not. And this Gore-Tex Air Max 90 is definitely impressive. I like this color scheme, 160 on the retail. Then they brought back the OG colorway and put a Gore-Tex on it too, which you can't go wrong with for sure. 160 on the retail. Nice colorway on the Air Max 90s right here for the women. I thought they were Gore-Tex, but they're not. 130 on the retail for these. Solid color combination. This 270 is very, very eye-catching. Every time I see it, I have to talk about this on the women's side, but that colorway is pretty dope. On camera, it looks more blue. In person, it definitely looks a lot more purple. I'm not quite sure if I've seen the gazelles in this colorway. Materials on here are definitely on point. This shoe would have been so much better if there was 3M on that upper. You got the uh, black overlay with the white and black underlay. 130 on the retail for these. Ultra Boost 1.0. Different type of materials on the upper. 189, still full retail, but these are definitely impressive. Air Max 270, got the Don issues on feet. Try them on. What do you guys think about these 270s right here though? Definitely clean, I'm not mad at these at all. Yeah, not bad, and uh, we're gonna try those on and see what's up with them. But I wanted to see what else they had in stock here. So they do have the Cosmic Unity 3 in this red and white colorway, which we have seen before. John Morant Reverse Scratch, Ch Chinese New Year. Look at this, they do have these on deck too. 119 with 25% off on these. Super, super dope, super dope. The red one down there is 25% off, but I definitely wanted to talk about these. So let's go ahead and scoop these up. So this is what we're scooping up today. Uh, definitely expect that review coming ASAP. Back to the one of the best locations here, JD Sports Northridge. Pretty good finds right there. We'll talk about that a little later. But we back over here. Just want to see what these prices are looking like. 135, 170, 65 on the witness eights. Then we got some stuff over here, which we, okay. We picked up one of these and already sold them online. If we need another pair, somebody let me know. John Morant Stardust, Red Stardust. Uh, not a lot of people have this shoe in the location. Then we got the KD 16. I think these are like the all-stars. 160 on the retail for these. Definitely a clean colorway right here. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the KD-16s in this colorway. Easy money. Got the detail on here that looks pretty clean as well. Give me your thoughts about these for sure. Still 90 bucks on the Safari Luca 2. Not mad at those. We need those to drop down, being that everything else is dropping down. KD-16. These are still full retail, right? The Jaw 1s, 140 on these. Weren't they just 130 last week? They keep switching these prices up. 120 on the reverse scratch. Stardust is 130. Price differential. They keep changing the prices on those shoes, which is crazy. Oh, haven't seen these in hand before. Jordan 2 Pythons. Are you guys a fan of these? Still full retail, 175. Definitely not a bad color combination. Got some good materials on here too. Let me know what you guys think about these for sure. Jordan 11 IE Lowe's, still 150 on those. These ones. 185 and they got they must have got the memo here and start choking up their shoes too they need to stop choking the shoes i don't understand the logic behind that got some new dunk colorways here yellow and black with the white uh midsole let me know if this is like a college theme or not a lot of new dunks popping out here varsity red and white pandas of course royal blues they also have these on deck too which i've never seen before 
almost like a Tiffany blue, if you will. I mean, I got shades on. Still got plenty of colorways of these Dunk Lows. This green one is like a new addition. A lot mad at these. $90 on the retail. Definitely seen this pink one, which is pretty much representing Valentine's Day. One of my favorite colorways was a Dunk Low, this University Blue. I'm pretty sure this should come in men's sizes as well. Jordan section over here too. Ochres, mids, walls down to 140. And we're seeing these mids finally in bigger sizes on this too. Let me know your thoughts about these in the comments below. This is by request. We got somebody asking for them. Fire. I will put these on the website, side 11 and a half. The 12 that we're looking for is not here, but 11 and a half will be on the website if you guys are interested. They retail for 160. These right here are also pretty solid too on these Romero 5s. Give me your thoughts about them, of course, in the comments below. And of the two colorways, which one do you guys like more? And yeah, we got a new colorway of the 2002R. This one here is definitely impressive, man. 140 on the retail. But these are definitely impressive. Cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it, cook it, cut it, measure it, measure it, crack, cook it, cut it, measure it, bag it, sell it, cook it, cut it, measure it. But I do like this colorway on the 312 Legacy. Got some satin around the sock liner. Not a bad color combination on these. Let me know if you guys like them or not. Got the black 2002R. We got this gray one here, also pretty solid. Both of these are on the gray school side. Air Max 1. I've only seen this black and white colorway on the gray school side. I'm pretty sure men's will pop out pretty soon. Jordan went mid with some good leather quality on these. 120, is this gray school only? Or men's will get this also? The material looks much more tumbled than we've seen on, like just look at them side by side, bro. Compared to that one, leather quality on this one is much better. Air Force One Shadow, 135 on the retail for these. Definitely not a bad one. We saw this color combination before with the Nike swoosh, gold accents on the eyelid, or the Dubray actually. What do you guys think? Valentine's Day theme on these Converse right here in black. Then we got the same design on this pink one right here. Let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. Definitely impressive with the colorways we've seen here, but everything we've seen here, we've definitely seen it before. Got like a triple black on a 2013. Air Maxes, definitely a solid colorway. They also have that army green and like that cell color scheme too here. Ooh, this might be a newer colorway of the Air Max Pulse. One of the newer designs from Nike. I don't see a lot of people gravitating to them though. They got a few of them on sale, one for 80. And then we got this black colorway down to 110. Now this is a nice colorway for the Air Max 95. You can't go wrong with this, that navy blue. Hint of the Carolina blue on there too. Then we got these, which are pretty nice. And you got another one that's kind of slightly the same, but also very different. Got the orange or red orange hint on the back for these. And in my opinion, one of the better colorways of the Air Max 90s that recently came out. Let me know what you guys think about these. Yet another colorway of the Air Max 1, that gray with the black swoosh, sail upper, white midsole, very clean. And of course you got the University Blue Air Max 1s right below it. Let me know which one you guys like more. This JD Sports has a great selection of shoes for grade school and men and women. Let me know what you guys feel like is the best find here today. So today was a full day so far. We got Shoe Palace, Jig Sporting Goods, and JD Sports. Some great finds. We got some reviews coming soon. Let me know what you guys think was the best find in today's video. We got a couple stores to check out still. Chic and Champs along with Foot Locker. So let's go ahead and check out Chic Shoes and see what they got in stock. You know they got some heat up in here for sure. Some good Jordan Retros here. Gratitudes, Cherry 12 still here in the building. Men sizes. You don't see too many spots with still men sizes on stock or in stock of these Jordan 12 Cherries. Same goes for these Jordan 5 Georgetowns, man. Definitely a clean shoe, 210 on the retail for them. And these are men's sizes too. So all this right here is men's sizing. Jordan 2 Black Cement, Cham Rays. We even got some Gore-Tex over here. Jordan 1 Mid. Quality on these are crazy. That's dope to see Jordan Mids getting some good leather treatment. What's the retail on these? 135, so they stepped up the price to step up the quality. You can't tell me that this Jordan Mid does not look tumbled. It looks really good, like some Jordan 1s, some good Jordan 1s, of course. I mean, the materials even look better than they do on the walls for this Jordan Retro or this Jordan Mid. So that's dope to see. Yeah, man, I like what I'm seeing here. Like, look at the leathers 
on here, the mids. So if they're gonna raise the price, they decide to give us some better quality. Is that what's happening? That's dope. Hopefully that is the case. Hopefully it's not just a one-off. Other Jordans here. And we got a new colorway. Have yet to see this Jordan Stadium 90. This all gray colorway with the suede on there. Very clean. Retail 139 on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Jordan Stadium 90s. Did get a good response on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of the Zoom Freak 5. Pretty solid colorway, still full retail. And we got a Jordan Mid that I haven't seen just yet. I don't know if these are gonna be only grade school. Materials on these are definitely on point though. I like the detail of them. It's like all different stamps or something like that from old Jordans. I don't know. Don't know the history behind this just yet. Once I find out, I'll let you know. Got the gold accents, red outsoles. These are definitely fire. Then we got some Jordan Retros on sale. Good to see that also, $154.99. Let me know if you guys are a fan of this colorway. We've seen it plenty of times, but it's it's definitely right that they're on sale. And then the materials on these are just retarded, man. Every time I see them, I'm a fan of them. Jordan 1 Lowe's for the women, 120 on the retail for those. They also have the most recent release for the women. Jordan 2's got the sale white and black color combination with good leather materials. They got these Jordan 2s for women on sale for 110 bucks. That's definitely a good price point for them. Hopefully they go cheaper, but 110 is dope. Normally 174 was 119 so they keep marking them down. Black and white, Jordan 1 Low, very solid colorway on these too. Zoom Freak 5 down to 110. New colorway of the Air Trainer 1, and it's already on sale for 110 This is definitely a solid colorway. Normally 130 on these. Marked down to 110 bucks. Let me know if you guys like this colorway. And the materials are definitely on point. Cortezes are making their way back. I do have I do have like two pair of these. I need to start bringing them back out. I haven't worn Cortezes in a very long time. Definitely classic, and I'm glad to see more coming back, you dig? Barclays, two colorways, the OG and the Broke Brown. Not a bad selection here of shoes at this Chic in the Northridge Mall. Only been open for maybe like two months. Hirachi with the uh, black and blue. Definitely solid on these. 125 on the retail. And then they also have the Air Trainer ones in this white, gray, and sale colorway. And these are pretty dope too for the Blazer Lows. That long hair suede is very, very solid. On sale, two for 59 bucks. Let me know what you guys think about the selection here, man. At this chic, definitely got the shoes on deck. And I'm sure, like I showed you guys before, the clothes are dope too. The colorway on this Dunk High is very solid. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm always dropping the heat. Retail 129 on the retail for sure. White and blue colorway on these, very solid, man. 114. A lot of dunks that have been dropping and some solid colorways. And we got this one here, which is fairly new too. White with the blue accents. Kind of the opposite of what we see here. Which one do you guys like more? We got the Corduroy King snapback right there from Mitchell and Ness. You definitely can't go wrong with that. 32 bucks on that hat. More hats over here. Phoenix Suns. Look at these. Okay. For the 49er fans out there, 39 bucks on this corduroy snapback from New Era. Look at this Kansas City Royals one too with the red patch on the side. The Raiders one black with the patch on the side. Also, fitted hat for 39 bucks was 47. Phoenix Suns hardwood classic. This purple one's very clean too. And it's a snapback on sale for $14.99. The Charlotte Hornets one with the yellow and black color scheme. Definitely fire. 24 bucks, normally 42. The hat selection here is on point. You got the Clippers one right there, Memphis Grizzlies. 41 bucks with the blue on the bill. Those are clean. Chicago Bulls. Look at the Angels and then the oh Florida Marlins Corduroy New Era hat. 47 bucks. This is definitely fire, man. Probably my favorite hat here. The Bulls one's dope too. But that Florida Marlins is crazy. This LA Dodger one is not bad. Pro Standard is it is the brand for that one. Corduroy Bill, Dodgers, New Era, Corduroy Top with the blue on it. Whew, those are fire, 35 bucks. Look at the blue Corduroy on the Dodgers one. Let me know if y'all feel any one of these hats that we're looking at, 47 bucks on the retail for those. Phillies, two different colorways that are pretty clean. 
fitted hat for those. And this one here is very solid too. The Raptors, the Bulls, LA over here. Are these snaps or fitteds? Fitteds, not a bad color combination on these though for sure. 39 bucks. dunks we showed before they have a really good selection all of these colorways are pretty interesting i didn't know the sock liner was different like it is it's like a different type of fabric to keep your feet warm 114 on those this colorway we have seen before but it's very solid as well not sure if this comes from a pack because i think there's another one that goes in this unless it's these two that are in the pack together what do you guys think about these in the comments below then we got the cortex with the with the suede on here too now I have to admit that this right here is definitely a steal on the Air Max 97 Silver Bullet, only 69 bucks. Normally like 175 on these. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these, but definitely a classic shoe for sure. With that 3M all up on the upper as well, you can't beat that, bro. I got this LeBron 21 down to 119 from the 165, I think, price point for the mids or for the LeBron 21. So that's dope to see that on sale. 3M activated Air Max 90. On the women's side, retail on these is 99 bucks. Transfers and also too. Every time I get here, my time is kind of limited, so I don't show you guys every single thing. They got the Kobe's here, 110 bucks, normally 140, so they're on sale too. That's good to see these on sale. And the first Kobe's down at 119. Of course, the jackets and the apparel is always dope too, which we'll get a little bit more into next time I come. They definitely switched up some of the apparel here. But let me know what you guys think about the selection here at Chic and everything you've seen in this mall, a lot of dope stuff. Now we're back at the crib. Let me show you guys in detail what we came across. It was definitely a good visit today at the Northridge Mall, Dick Sporting Goods, Shoe Palace, and of course, J.E. Sports. Let me know what you guys think about the selection we've seen in the video and what I came across. First at Shoe Palace, I went back for these. The LeBron 20 Nike Lifer. Now, personally, when this comes in men's sizes, hopefully I'm able to find them for a good price like 69 or 49 something like that i found them at the outlets but haven't found my size yet a few people in the discord told me that, that they are starting to see them in ross but bigger sizes so if anybody finds a 13 for a great price feel free to hit your boy up but we came up on these for 39 bucks now this is not a personal pair obviously it's a grade school size seven but i can go ahead and get these off on amazon if you guys know about that then you know about that but Nike Lifer LeBron 20s is the first shoe we came across. We got some Nike Blazers in a size 12. $39 is the retail price point on these. Really good ranking and reviews, everything for this shoe here. We scooped up this one. I scooped up one before and sent it off and it sold pretty, sold pretty quickly. So I had to go ahead and add these to the uh, arsenal of my lineup. But this blazer is actually nice and you know I would consider actually wearing this myself. So Shoe Palace came through with two pretty solid finds the LeBron 20 Nike Lifer, and uh, these Blazers right here. Next, I went on over to Dick's Sporting Goods to check out a few things and see if they had any new shoes or a shoe that I tried on in one of my recent videos. And that's what I always encourage you guys to try a shoe on before you scoop it up, uh, just to make sure you get the size that you want. The Don Issue 5 from Adidas, Donovan Issues, uh, Donovan Mitchell's fifth signature shoe. There has been some specs and images of the Don Issue 6 already. And these still are brand new for the most part. A lot of good colorways, but I think this blue one is by far one of the best colorways of that shoe. Let me know what you guys think about this. Stay tuned for a full detailed review on this, plus the on feet, maybe even some lace swapping, even though these blue laces go perfect. I think orange or black would also offset the shoe too. But give me your thoughts on the Don Issue 5, and do you guys agree with me that this is Donovan Mitchell's best shoe by far so far? Then we headed on over to JD Sports. Now, I initially went there to go ahead and pick up something for somebody who been hitting me up on Instagram, supports the channel a lot. He was looking for a shoe that I showed you guys recently. And unfortunately, we did not find his size, but I did scoop up something that I will throw up on the website in case you guys are looking for him. I'm talking about these bangers right here. The Vomero 5, what are these called? There's a name for them. I call them University Blue, but there's a name for these actually. This is definitely one of the best 
Vermeero fire that I've seen in a long time. I've only found them at one location. So hopefully when they come out at other locations, I can find my size 13 because the 13s were gone quickly. So we got this 11 and a half, which is kind of a rare size as well. But I'm going to throw these up on my website, boscoesbillies.com in case there's somebody out there who is trying to scoop them up for yourself and you don't have them in your area. There's no information about these. I don't see them listed to come out. I'm pretty sure this might be a spring release. So maybe late February, early March. But we got these right now in January on the website, size 11 and a half, full box, everything good with them, brand new. But this right here is one of the best Bomero 5 so far. Let me know if you guys agree with it. And of course, that 3M detailing is just fire. And we're going to do a review on these also, just so I can get a little bit more in depth about this shoe. Another shoe that I saw that was new, put it out early. These don't come out till around All-Star Weekend, which is like maybe, you know, about three weeks away, just under four weeks away, about three weeks away. Um, I believe it's in Indiana. We got these. The Nike KD16 All-Star, which is definitely an exquisite shoe. Very crazy colorway. I like the design, the different colors, the different materials used here. Let me know what you guys think about the KD16s overall. And what do you think about this shoe? Once again, no size 13 available. People in the area where I scoop these at, it's right next to a university. A lot of hoopers around high schools around so people are going for the 13 for sure the kd16 man this is super dope size 12 if you look online they definitely have a little resale to them i will have these available on my website too bosco mitchell or boscosgoodies.com if you guys are interested in a size 12 but these are two solid bangers right here the vomero 5 and this kd16 overall a great trip today to the to the uh, northridge mall let me know what you guys think. Hit the like button. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Watch these videos to the end. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Check out the website. Join the Discord. All that is in the description box below. I'm about to get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces.